Here he is, Marty McGoon. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Lovely see. to see you, buddy. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Um, Sydney Swans by 22 yeah, in pa- Sydney. Now, you won't say this, but I know you weren't well on the day uh, because everyone's given the uh, uh, Brody Grundy the points. And I said you'd thump him, so... You know, there must be an excuse. No, no one wins <laughs> no. here. Egg today. on your face, Marty. Egg on my face. <laughs> Thank you, Max. Um, but I know you were unwell going into that game. Um, and it looked greasy, Wet. you know, not a bit <laughs> sloppy. Yeah, not a great conditions to be a little bit under the weather. But um, no, look, i surprised it was 22 points, to be honest. I thought they ran completely on top of us in the second mm. half. And to hold on by 22, we probably could have been in front at halftime. Mm. Um, back to one goal eight or two goals eight, yeah. I think we were. Um, Ed, Ed, Ed Langdon kicked one on the halftime buzzer to get us down by seven. But yeah, no, Sydney were good. Their pressure was high. Um, They're always a big pressure team, aren't they? Yeah. And like we struggled in the conditions, but I would say they didn't. So um, you can't blame the conditions when one team doesn't seem to be bothered by them. But one well, team they've, did. they've had a, an enormous amount of humidity over their summer as well. Yeah, someone, they would have trained all through those conditions. Someone said there has been more humid in Sydney than Darwin this summer. Yeah, I wouldn't oh, be surprised. Yeah, I'm happy to go on record for that. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> good call. <laughs> no, I mean, Troy's normally our weather guy, yeah. but you have a go. <laughs> Do you think the first week of March is too early to be playing that north? Uh I remember we played in Brisbane last year at round two, the game I sucked. Oh, and that's right. When well, you yeah. did your knee, yeah. you didn't actually do it. Um, that was incredibly humid and hot as well. So yeah. I think, there's, I mean, it's only a couple of weeks early. It's a massive home ground advantage for the teams that are, are there. Um, but yeah, look, we ran into a really good team on the weekend. Mm. Jeez, he really, I mean, I don't want to rub it in now that yeah. you're sitting opposite me, but 9-2 in the clearances. In terms of me v him? Yeah. Yeah. Max yeah, was sick, Marty. I know, but you beat him. In, you beat him in the head out, hit outs, oh, thirty nine to thirty one. That's good. No, Brody. Brody was really good. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've I've been on record a few times saying he's a pretty good player. So mm-hmm. that's always yeah. Happen. Something about him. You don't oh. like him. No, when he puts his glasses on and thinks he's a doctor, I'm like, shut up, Brody. <laughs> he needs. Glasses. I mean, you can't say any of that. Yeah. And he, he had a when, blue bottle sting too. Yeah, he was, under, he was under the weather as well. <laughs> yeah. Look, look Rightio, what will you? I'm doing all my Harry Potter gear. He looks a bit like Harry Potter. I, there's something about him. I don't have, yeah, I don't have There's that a vibe. Comparison. Scholarly sort of, I don't know. You should get to, you know, he's actually an incredible guy. Mm. Is he? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought we were going to put some shit on him. No. <laughs> I can, organi- I can organise a little catch-up. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to have a beer okay. with him. But I just thought we were going to have some fun, you yeah. and I, and really okay. go hard at him. Sorry. Oh. Clayton Oliver. Um, he played well, didn't he? 29 disposals, six clearances. <laughs> You've got to be happy with that. <laughs> <It's not> bad, <laughs> For a guy who's had an up-and-down preseason. Was, um, not sure you actually told me you weren't watching, but if you were watching... I watched the second half. He, um, he was floating in and out of the middle as well, so mm-hmm. he's still... Um, still got some room to grow, which yeah. is exciting. But it looked like the Clayton we recognised, which was good. Yeah, still had red hair. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, he looked pale skin. He looked, he looked, he looked good. He and he'll only be better for the run. So yeah. I'm excited for what he can do over. That's just weeks. talent, isn't it? 29, 29 disposals after that kind of disrupted preseason yeah. and the end of last year. That's just a bloke running around getting the footy. I'd love to see what I'd be able to do after not doing a preseason and <laughs> one VFL game. It would it be 29 disposals? <laughs> Uh, three days of uh, high 30s across oh, Melbourne. Been hot. Some showers and 20 tomorrow, Marty. Max Gore with us this morning. Hello, Max. Hello, hello. Oh, no. um, <laughs> opening round, Laura yes. Kane, head of footy operations. Uh, she's quoted as saying, is if, if you asked anyone today, they'd probably say yes. All the eight clubs that participate, everyone up there, she said. Is it a good thing? What do you think, Max? If you asked all eight clubs, they'd say they loved it. That yeah, was well, the only, I mean, we didn't love it because we lost, but yeah. the only thing that is weird is not every team's played. Mm. Um, if there's a way they can bring the game to the Northern States and have more teams playing, I get there's only four Northern State teams. Um, but I in like I really liked the aspect of it. Mm. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, 40,000 at the game we were at. Uh, it looked yeah. like it. There was a buzz in Sydney. When, yeah, there uh, was. There the, was. The Swans walked through all the way uh, from their facilities to yeah, the there ground, was a, and certainly walking around town, there was a lot more um, people, especially football supporters, that normally are in Sydney. Normally, you can walk around Sydney and 
the incognito. Um, it was a little bit harder this this time around. But no, I I really and I watched the games as well. I watched Brisbane Carlton. Mm. Um, I watched Gold Coast Richmond. Funny mm. enough, and, but I didn't manage to get the Giants. Kind of that was a bit too much footy. Too much footy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, enough's a bit, enough. A little bit too much. Uh, Mason Cox has been delivered. A please explain Max from the AFL for finding himself in the warm up colliding with a Giants assistant coach Shane Mumford. It did look like Mumford moved his body as well. Yeah, Look this, like two blokes who'd known each other for a while. This is um, this is harsh. The commentary on Mason here. Mm. This is a uh, this has been waiting to happen for a while. If you do watch the midfield warm up, which I'm sure a lot of people do, it's it's a great part of the game. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's it's very scattered. Like one team gets a minute, the other team gets a minute. Who knows who goes first? Um, if one team was late through the banner, did they miss their minute? Like but what's the minute for anyway? For to you to f- jump up, have a tap, and see if someone can get it. To do four centre bounces, see how high the umpires are bouncing it. Right. Ball. The same as a forward kick and a goal. We're sort of warming yep. up our centre bounce. Yeah. Um, and yeah, well, I've had multiple times where our rough coach or our midfield coach says, oh, no, that's time for them. I'm just going to go stand in the middle and tell them to hurry up. Right. So like it's a, it's a real big game of power moves. Mm. Um, <laughs> I've never seen someone actually go into the contact part of it. I never, I never even knew this was a thing. Yeah. Um, I think they're both like, obviously Shane's gone in there and tried to hurry Mason up and say it's our, it's our turn, which it probably was. Mm. And then Mason just wanted one more bounce. Mm. Um, I think they both should have, Shane shouldn't have gone in, but then Mason, once Shane was in, shouldn't have done what he did. Mm. Does that make sense? Mason's apologised. And he said, in hindsight, I should have stopped my run-up rather than completing the final drill. Yeah, but yeah. It's, it seems very storm in a teacup Oh, yeah. it really is. But it's this time of year. Yeah, and it's, <laughs> we've never seen it before. So no, we it's a new it. one. Yeah. And Shane Mumford is as cheeky as he ever was. I'm surprised Shane didn't do anything at the time. Yeah. I just thought... Like sit him on his ass. Well, the other... <laughs> his little midfielders were sort of laughing at him. And Shane, I'm... I, don't know Shane that well, but it just presumes he's someone that wouldn't like that. And <laughs> I thought he might have gone at Mason, but um... I like the description of his little midfielders too. <laughs> <They're all laughs> makes me feel like they're oompa loompas, yeah. <laughs> little chocolate factory guys. Harry Harry Mackay, uh, Williams mate, is the newest of a growing trend of uh, of uh, tall forwards spending significant time in the main ruck. Yep. What are you thinking about that? You um you still doing the podcast? Yeah, we recorded yesterday. <laughs> yeah. He was yeah. he was up and about. Was where, he? Yeah. Where can I get that? Oh, on the listener app, of on course. Mate. Yeah. Only on the yeah. listener app. Yeah. Okay. And Harry's good on it. <laughs> Harry Harry was excellent. He was very happy yesterday. It was which, a bad which, take. which one of them's simple? Because one of them's quite simple. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He almost gave you an answer, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, slow like, down, Will. Yeah. That's ba- oh, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, it's <laughs> There was a bad take about him kicking the goal. Was it from Kane? It most likely was from Kane. I, I must have missed it. What was the take? Uh, that we're celebrating the million dollar player kicking a goal. Oh, he right. should kick yeah. the goal. <laughs> yeah, please. Um, no, I really enjoyed Harry's game. He rucked a little bit in the JLT game that I played against him. Yeah. And anyone who's 200 centimetres who's got a bit of tigger like he does can play in the ruck. So, yeah. But we're um, seeing it more like Joe Danaher was most of last year was that second ruck role. Is it, a, is it an easier ruck battle or is it, a, can those tall guys, the really good ones, negate it? Uh, I mean, they, they bring di- different strengths. Um, I was on the bench when Mackay came in in the Carlton game and he took our young ruck straight to the four line and took a mark on him. So they mm. bring different strengths that rucks yeah. maybe not have, but... Then if you come up against a Jackson Darcy, who are two very, very strong rucks, then Mackay mm. could be in trouble there. Yeah. What about the class action the Cracker Brothers have brought? Have you, are you across this? I haven't actually. I've, I've seen AFL racism scandal, but I haven't clicked on the bait. I only heard about this yesterday afternoon, and they're going back to their days in, I suppose, the, the AFL, 80s, yeah. and they're talking about some of the legends of the game being racist throughout their careers and they've named names which yep. I won't bother to go into now because I don't know enough about it but it does seem an interesting one if the AFL's having those kind of class actions taken out against them. Definitely and I think I saw a quote saying any sort of um, allegations will take us serious and um, they're also apologising for anything from that era. I think they're owning up to that era wasn't mm. great from the AFL. Mm. Um, but yeah, I haven't clicked on the article. The only, the only cracker I know is, An- is Andrew. I was I was still inside mum and dad. Um, mm, mm. In the, the other crackers. In, 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 in the 80s. So. Mm. <laughs> what do you mean inside your mum and dad? That's an interesting <laughs> turn of phrase. I was going to run it inside mum, but I probably wasn't. I was probably still in dad. <laughs> 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 you were still in dad. Yeah. Don't ever run with inside mum. That's right. Yeah. Lovely to see it. you, Max. <laughs>